taking a fresh look at that true American classic, the gelatin salad. So we're starting with the gelatin. We're not gonna be using any processed gelatin. We're using unflavored gelatin. And we're gonna sprinkle this over a little bit of cool water so it can soften up there a bit. Whoops. Great. And then this is actually, the base of our flavor is gonna be champagne or sparkling wine. Now if you don't wanna use something with alcohol and you could use white grape juice. We're gonna pair this up with grapefruit, which I love, and so the taste of the champagne against the almost astringent citrus is really delicious. We're gonna put this in a saucepan, and a little bit of sugar, a good pinch of salt, and then it has some zest here, and you wanna use some orange and lemon zest, but make sure there's no pith. You don't want this bitter white pith which will make it taste not very good. So we'll bring this up to a simmer, then let it steep for a couple of minutes to really bring up the flavor of the citrus zest. So we've got this peeled up, now we're gonna section going in between the membranes and just cutting out the segments. I'm using a paring knife, but you could even use a butter knife to do this. So you can make one large gelatin salad, you can make individuals. Like the individuals, they look nice, they're a little less overwhelming. And we have these little individual molds, and you wanna oil them really carefully with a non-flavored oil, like peanut oil or corn oil. I'm gonna strain the melted gelatin into a bowl, and I'm straining it to get out the zest, but also just in case there might be any little bits of undissolved gelatin. So I'm gonna take a small amount of the strained gelatin, and put it into the bottom of each mold. And this is so that we'll have a nice smooth top on the unmolded salads. And then I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator for 10 or 15 minutes just until they set. These were in the refrigerator, the gelatin is set on top. Now we're gonna arrange the fruit and finish the salads. Now I'm arranging these segments, but you could also just cut these up in pieces and load them in. This is really up to you how you want to do it. Two layers, just keep filling these up. I put two layers, and then I'll pour some gelatin over the top. And then I usually fill the bottom just by taking some of the less pretty pieces, because there are always a few of those, and cutting those up into smaller bits and just layering those on top. And then I just cover these with a little lightly oiled plastic wrap, put them back in the refrigerator for four hours or overnight, or even up to two days, and then we'll unmold them. Our salads are chilled and completely set. Now it's time for the big unveiling. I'm just gonna dip this in hot water for about 20 seconds to help soften the gelatin, loosen it up just a little bit. And then take a paring knife and you wanna really carefully work in there on the side and then loosen it just a little bit and then lightly turn it out like that. And there you have that great American classic, the gelatin salad.